Question 15. This is a Pythagoras question and I can tell that because it's got a couple of right angles inscribed here and there's no detail on any of the other angles that aren't 90 degrees. So let's have a look at how I'm going to do this one. I need to work out the length from A which is here to C which is down here. So if I just draw that onto my diagram I can see that AC is there. Now this is a right angle triangle ABC but to do this I would need to know the value of BC. So this is actually going to be a double application of Pythagoras. First thing I'm going to need to work out is the length BC. A um, couple of things I can notice here. I can notice that this length across here creates a second right angle triangle and this length from D to this point here would be the same as BC. So if I can start to work out this one I think I can get to BC and ultimately to my answer. So using the triangle and uh, let's label this point Z. So using the triangle from A to Z to D I know that the hypotenuse of it is 10. Uh, this length here I'm not so sure about. I know that A to B is 9 and D to C is 3 so the difference between them must be 6 and it's this one I'm trying to work out. So to do this I'm going to do the hypotenuse squared minus one of the short side squares and that will give me my unknown length squared. So that's 100 minus 36 which is a fantastic number 64. Don't forget to square root it. That means that this length is 8 centimeters. Once I've got the 8 centimeter length what I can then do is look at the larger triangle ABC and I can do 9 squared plus 8 squared which is 145. Then I'm going to do the square root of 145 which is 12.0415 and a few bits after that. Now the question says give your answer to three significant figures so my final answer for this one is going to be 12.0 and that's the question answered.